So back in 2011, I did a really long render setting tutorial. There's still a lot of good info in that video, but since then, my opinions have changed. I'm still using Movie Studio, but now I'm using Movie Studio 13. First off, I realized using codecs like VP8 or DNX HD with Handbrake or anything that requires extra work, I'm not going to use. I simply don't have the time to use anything that requires extra steps. So I pretty much settled on using Sony AVC for everything. It's simple and the results are good enough. So here are the settings. All right, so before we can get to the render settings, um, there's some other settings in uh, Sony Movie Studio. This is version 13 um, that are equally as important. So let's go over them real quick. So this is a small window. This this makes it full screen, right? Uh, I do highly recommend that you get a, have two monitors if you're going to do uh, a, any a fair amount of video editing. It makes it a lot easier to put this on a second monitor. But since I can only screen record one monitor, I got them both set for this monitor. So anyway, so this setting right here, this setting is, um, uh, what it does is it speeds up the preview, right? So if you go to the draft and you go to a quarter, it'll make it look really horrible, but you'll get really smooth uh, playback. So what that does is that allows you to make your cuts more accurate. But if you go um, full screen, I'll show you how bad it looks. So see how jagged it looks? It looks terrible, right? So you're really not going to see if you have any any problems with these settings. So so after you get your cuts where you want it, you want to go to best, full, and then when you go full screen, see what we're seeing here? See this interlace? You can see it really good right there. See the ghosting image? That's not good. You don't want that interlace. Um, so we'll go out of here. And so that's going to be in the project properties. So you, what you want to do is you want to set this for... Um, so you got de-interlace de -interlace method. So there's blend and, and interpolate. I prefer interpolate for almost, I've tried them all. So that's the first thing you want to change. And the other thing you want to change, you want to change none here. And now let's go look at it. Now we still, we're still getting that ghosting image, right? It's better, but it's still there. See the, so the shadow right there, that's no good. And what's interesting is, is this video, I'll show you right here. This video is, 30 frames per second, okay? And even if I go to 30 frames per second, so that fixed it right there. But let's say you have some other clips in there and you want it, you want to shoot, like this is from a, a Sony uh, hand, handheld, little, little handheld cam, handy cam, I think they call it. Yeah, they call it the handy cam. So if you mix this in with some other like GoPro footage or Sony action cam, you're going to want it at 60 frames per second. And 60 frames per second gives you a couple benefits. One of them, one of them is, is when you upload it to YouTube, YouTube will uh, keep the bit rate a little higher than at 30 frames per second. So what that should mean is your video should look a little better. It won't chop the bit rate quite so severely. Now, um, you might think that it's double the frame rate, so you need double the bit rate, but the codecs, they really don't work that way. Um, they just take one picture and then they try to just figure out where all the pixels are moving in some super complicated way. So overall, I still think 60 frames per second will make your video look a little better, even if uh, everything else being equal. So now we have the ghosting again, right? Because we went to 60 frames per second. So if we get out of here, now, if we set this to disable resample, now it's gone. So that's what you want on your video clips. And we'll look at another clip too here. Let's go to this clip right here. So if we go full screen, it looks pretty good, right? But if we change it back, let's change it back to, um, we'll go to, See if we can get the interlace back. See the interlace? See the, the double fenders and all that? Terrible. And so what settings you want, it's, it's going to depend on your camera and a lot of different things. But for me, for the cameras that I've tried, generally these are the settings you want for your video. Now, 
The only one that'll change is is if you're shooting 4K, then this will be 4K. I don't even think Movie Studio will do 4K. I think you need Sony Vegas for that. And if you're not, if you're shooting like 720 or something, you should might con- want to consider upgrading your camera because uh, even the you know to get a f- HD camera is not very expensive nowadays. It's 2016 for God's sakes. All right, so uh, now we'll go on to the render settings. Okay, now that we got those settings out of the way, let's get to the actual rendering of the movie. So what you want to do is you want to go make movie, save the hard drive. Doesn't matter what you pick here because we're going to pick advanced options. Okay, so now <clears throat> I've tried all these different settings. I've tried other codecs, and I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to use Sony AVC until something much better comes along for now because uh, ABC stands for Advanced Video Codec, H.264, I believe is basically what it is. And um, the difference is um, minimal at best. I've tried them all. Um, two pass is better, but who's got time for two pass? And when you max out the bit rate, you really can't tell a difference. So unless you're hosting the video to your own website and you're trying to get it as small as possible to save bandwidth um, and you're really you know, trying to get the best quality video, then you can tweak around all the settings. But if you're just sending it to YouTube, I'm a believer, just send them a, a high bit rate video that looks great and YouTube's gonna chop it down anyways. And uh, that's all you can do about it. And so Sony ABC, and then for these templates here, I just picked the internet 1920 by 1080 to start out with, okay? Um, then you just go to customize template so here's our settings. Now include video, obviously. Now um, the only setting we got here is ABC or memory stick. It's going to be ABC. This is going to be 1920 by 1080, unless you're shooting. Whoops, I said it for the wrong one. Unless you're shooting in 4K, um, I don't think uh, Movie Studio even does 4K. I think you need Sony Vegas version for that. Anyways, allow source to adjust frame rate. I leave this unchecked. I don't want it to change anything. My video, I've already got everything set up. You're going to set this for 60 frames per second. I already talked about the benefits of uh, 60 frames per second, in my opinion. Um, these you can't change, the high and the C, A, B, A, C. So you got to leave those. Uh, I leave uh, uh, allow source to adjust frame rate. I leave this unchecked. I don't want it changing my frame rate. Um, field order progressive. Pixel aspect ratio is going to be 1. Unless you're shooting anamorphic, then you'll know what to put there. And then as far as bit rate goes, I just max it out. It's 2016. Um, 26 uh, million bits per second. Uh, it, it's it's going to give you the you know the highest quality video possible. Um, you could probably get away with less, and you're not going to tell an image quality difference. But who cares? Hard drive space is cheap. Um, you got a decent internet connection. Who cares if it takes an hour or two hours to upload to YouTube? Is that really going to matter? I don't think so. And then uh, number of slices. You want this set for one for the best quality video. Um, you can read about it. I read about it on uh, this forum called Creative Cow, so take it for what it's worth. Um, now, as far as uh, render using CPU only, you can uh, do GPU. Where is it at here? Here it is. And if you look, I do have that option. I have a Radeon video card, and uh, I've experimented with it, and it it did render a little faster, and I couldn't tell the difference. But if you do some reading, uh, what they'll say is that the CPU will give you the best uh, image quality possible. And I guess the reason is is the video cards, the algorithms to utilize the video cards uh, aren't as well um, refined as the ones for the CPU. So CPU, they say, gives you better image quality. And since the difference in time is not that great, maybe I save, you know, 70 percent it's 70 percent as long i'm guessing so so i just go with cpu again it's just not not a deal breaker if it takes an hour or an hour and 20 minutes i don't care enable pro- progressive download i don't care about this i've tried both ways i don't think it matters i just leave it checked okay audio uh aac advanced audio codec uh sample rate forty-eight thousand. I definitely go with that. Um, I tried 44,000, and, and with my computer, sometimes I get weird clicks, especially if I'm using Audacity. I'll show you. Uh, um, is it Audacity? Yeah, right here. This is Audacity right here. This is a great program for um, recording your voice and stuff. It's free. 
And if I use 44 on this, I get weirdness on my computer. So anyways, 48 for, um, for here. And then uh, YouTube actually recommends 320. I believe it's 320. I've tried 128. Anything higher than 128, I cannot tell a difference at all. Uh, advanced audio codec. So, But YouTube wants 320. Go 320. It's not going to hurt. The difference in size is minimal. Just go with it. Stereo. Okay. And then... Uh, doesn't matter because I got CPU only, right? And uh, again, if you got a computer that can, that really, you know, you got a great video card and it really speeds up the process. And if you can't tell a difference, then I say go for it. But for me, I just go with the GPU. Okay, last last tab, you're gonna use project settings. I don't like that, I want best. And then for stereoscopic 3D mode, since I'm not even using it, I just leave that for use project settings. So now you got your template the way you like it. So uh, name your template, YouTube, there it is. So now whenever I want to do it, there it is right there at the top. And then you're just going to render your movie. So hope this helps. Talk to you later.